everybody! I'm here today to tell you how to be a less aggressive driver. Now this will be a very simple driving lesson for beginners, but by all means anyone, even experienced drivers, can definitely take something away from this driving lesson. Now let's face it, the vast majority of drivers have at least a small problem with aggression, aka road rage. Even myself I go through it from time to time. But there are certain things that you can do and that I do myself that help Help me become a less aggressive overall driver. I'm going to go over those things with you in this video. Let's get right into the video. The first thing that you can do is, is just generally calm down. Now, don't get me wrong. I am a super pumped up person. If you can tell from most of my videos, I'm like always like, let's go, let's do it. Screaming at the camera. And that's just the way that I am. But when you are behind the wheel, you have to calm down. And there are many things that you can do to calm down. But some of the most popular ones are meditate and shower. I personally don't meditate, but I take like very long showers. So it relaxes me with the warm water. It just relaxes me. It calms me down. It's my version of meditation. Maybe for you, it's working out. Maybe for you, it's meditation, but do what maybe for you, it's drinking a big glass of water, whatever the case is, do whatever you can to calm down. That's the first thing that you can do. Calm yourself down overall before you start driving. And I know I'm pumped up for my videos. Woo woo. Let's go videos, videos, videos. But when it comes to actually driving, I'm a fairly calm person and I've changed to become this way. I wasn't born this way. I used to have a lot of aggression. Now I for the most part, don't. For the most part, if you know what I'm saying. All right, you know, everyone has to have road rage sometimes, but just keep it to the sometimes. All right, number two, the second thing that you can do is don't rush, AKA leave your house earlier. I know so many people, like even on a personal level, I know tons of people. I would argue hundreds of people that I personally know that leave their house at like the last possible minute or even like two minutes earlier, which really is like basically the last possible minute. And that means that they are rushing to where they need to be. Cause even if there's just the slightest bit of traffic or extra traffic above what they had anticipated, they're not going to get there on time. So they're rushing, they're weaving through traffic, they're breaking the road rules, they're breaking the laws, making rights on red lines lights when they're not supposed to. I rhyme all the time. Um, anyways, uh, it's just not a good idea. Just leave earlier. Here, here's my little trick. Whatever I'm going to do at home, I take that. I leave, you know, 15, 20 minutes earlier than I should. And I do that in the car. So like if I was going to send emails at home, respond to DMs on Instagram, follow it up on Instagram, link in the description. If you want to reach out to me, Instagram is the best place to do that. But if I'm like responding to messages or sending emails or whatever the case is, I'll just leave 20 minutes earlier and I'll do that in the parking lot of the place. And I get the same amount done, but I arrive earlier. I'm not as stressed and I relax, right? So don't rush. The third thing that you can do is put on relaxing or calming music. Now, don't get me wrong. I love music that pumps me up, okay? I'm a, a lot of you don't know this, but I'm a huge rap and, and hip hop lover of music. I love all music, but definitely like the songs of going from, you know, from the bottom all the way to the top, the come up as they call it, you know, pumping me up. I love that music. But if I'm trying to relax in the car, that's not what I'm going to listen to because that music gets me like all pumped up, ready to go, let's go. It pumps me up. But if I don't, if I want to calm down, I'm not going to listen to that. You know, I'll put on like some nice, calming, relaxing music. I don't want to go into detail, but I'll put on some relaxing music, some opera style music, that kind of thing. Kind of just relaxes you. But choose whatever music you want, but make sure it's relaxing if you want to be a less aggressive driver. It's as simple as that. Uh, the fourth thing that you can do is is just let it go okay whatever happened let it go it's not worth it to be aggressive if someone has done something to you not only does it hurt you more than it hurts them but when you're angry it hurts you hear this all the time probably but it hurts you more than it hurts them but it's also not practical because you don't know who's behind that other wheel you don't know who's in that other car right you know and you don't want to you don't want to chance it so just if someone cut you off who cares you know just let it go 
whatever the case is. Maybe you want to honk at them, sure, and then move on with your life. It's as simple as that. Don't like start following them and being being aggressive. Just let it go. You know, they're a bad driver. They're gonna get a ticket. They're gonna get into an accident if they drive like that. Who let it go, bro? Let them have it. That's it. If you if you honk at them, if you become aggressive with them, they might not get that ticket that they deserve. Or you know, so just let it go and they'll get they'll get what's coming to them. It's as simple as that. It's karma. It's how the world operates. All right, last but not least is the fifth little tip to be a less aggressive driver overall, and that is to reward yourself when you succeed at being less aggressive. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Just getting over this cold finally. But I say reward yourself and not consequence yourself because let's say you have a day where you're like, you let something go, you're not aggressive, you know, whatever the case is, you know, then if you have a good day like that, Go to your local favorite coffee shop. Treat yourself to a nice little, nice little cafe, as they say. Treat yourself to a nice little coffee, right? Or whatever the case is, reward yourself in one way or another. I'm not like associated with, with this in any way, shape or form. It's just, I just happened to get a coffee from there this morning. Just so it's clear that was not like a plug at all. <laughs> Anyways, um, don't consequence yourself because that's going to make you more aggressive. Let's say you have a bad day, you know, you get road rage and then you consequence yourself. You're going to be like, ah, I'm so angry. Oh, now I'm, I, you know, I had road rage. Now I consequence myself. So I have even more road rage. Ah, you're going to, you're going to honk the horn. I just honked the horn at a red light. It's always fun doing that because everyone looks and looking at me like I'm screaming right now and I honk. They're like, what's wrong with this guy? Many things. Anyways, uh, that's basically it. That is how to be a less aggressive driver. Hopefully you found this video educational and also entertaining at the same time. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.